Hi everybody, my name is Pierre, doing a bit of scenery design for South Africa. In my past endeavors, the mesh that we have down in Southern Africa is the default XP mesh and we don't get proper profiles for runways or runways are skewed or something like that and it's always an effort or you skip the runway or you skip the airport and you carry on to the next one. Then I stumbled upon the B flat from SCH Max and eventually on Max, uh, which is a mesh update of X plane, also by SH Max, and I can say that's a brilliant piece of software that he developed. Well, he called it Yamet, yet another mesh editing tool. And from the XP page, the explained page, this tool is trying to overcome issues of other mesh tools. Highlights are options to change the mesh and thus the elevation for the area, better flatten airports. Uh, not the huge areas done by the explained flattened flag. Generate the runway profiles exactly as they are. You can also change the elevation of raster squares. And then the Max to export KML files so that you can visualize it with Google Earth. And you can do changes in Google Earth and later on the web. I'll have a video on that one. And then you can export import the physical base mesh to from the object file for performing further changes in Blender. You can also update the elevation layers for networks to generate breaches. Okay, the Max information flow. A big red note, back up your original files. Max does not modify scenery files, but just to be on the safe side. In a nutshell, it works like this. A scenery developer creates a modified mesh and scenery and a subsequent .max information file using the Max tool. Then a scenery developer distributes a scenery pack which will include the .max information file and the receiving user on the other side of the world that he creates the same modified mesh using the max information file and the max tool. If you have a look here in the diagram, there's a scenery files. It's using the max tool based on the default mesh, HD mesh or auto mesh and it creates a max file. It uploads it to the internet, the user downloads it from the internet, install the scenery package and then he install max tool as well. And then using the Max tool, he creates the same mesh that has been created on the site. Now, before you can continue, you must have at least the Max software. Maybe watch the video Max Mesh Updater for XP Basic Operation and Flattening. Then I'll recommend to have an Explain Development Sandbox. Copy the latest XP with all the junk removed and use it purely for scenery development. Then you need to have World Editor, uh, the latest release copy, and uh, very good working knowledge how to use it. Then download Google Earth, the Pro version. And you need to have a knowledge of the scenery pack.inl and the hierarchy thereof. And perhaps auto for XP understanding and then a slight understanding of these F files. Uh, it is complicated but worth your while. And then lots of patience. Okay, let me show you quickly where to get the uh, must have information and tools. A mesh updater for explain. Scroll down on this page to the GitHub new releases. Open up the page and then you download the Max manual, the sample files and the EXE. Then you need World Editor installed uh, if you want to do scenery design because we're going to use that. Then you need to download and install Google Earth Pro. We're going to use this to modify the meshes. You need to have an understanding of the scenery pack on iFile. There's a couple of videos or you can get this tool, X Organizer, to help you with that. Then it's good to have an understanding of the DSF files and if you want to go into Photo scenery, it's good to have an understanding of auto for XP. I'll show you quickly what I'm doing with this. Okay, that is the end of part one, introduction to Max. Uh, I will see you in the next part, how to install Max and my work environment. And we take it from there. Thank you, bye. <laughs>